Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. If this is a video about On One Photo Raw 2018, you may be wondering why Lightroom is open on my computer. Well, that's because in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use On One Photo Raw 2018 as a Lightroom plugin. We're going to begin with this image, and I already did some Lightroom adjustments to it. I did some basic panel adjustments, tone curve, and lens corrections. Now, I'd like to add some effects to it. So I want to send it over to On One Effects and add some filters. There's three different ways you could send an image from Lightroom into any plugin. The first way is you could go down to the postage stamp down here. You could right click on it, go up to edit in, and then you look for your on one plugins. And you'll notice there's only two on one effects and on one resize. You will be able to send images into layers and we're gonna do that in a minute and I'll demonstrate how to do that. But as far as this right click edit in method, you'll only be able to send it over into effects or resize. So that's how you would do it from the postage stamp. You also could just right click on the main image, go to edit in, and then again down to either effects or resize. And the final way is you go up to the top photo menu, down to edit in, then effects or resize. Now I'm gonna send this image over into on one effects. So I'm gonna click that and this dialog box appears. Now, even though On One Photo Raw 2018 is a raw editor, when you send an image to it as a plugin from Lightroom, you will not be able to edit the raw image. So you have to create another file. And that's what this dialog box allows you to do. And you'll notice that Edit Original is grayed out. So we cannot edit this original Nikon raw file. So we're going to edit a copy as Lightroom Adjustments, and then you have some options. You could choose to use PSD, JPEG, or TIFF. It is recommended to use PSD, but you can use the other two if you need to. Your color space, I use Profoto RGB of the available color spaces because it's the largest. Use whatever works for you. Uh, it doesn't matter. Bit depth, it is recommended to use 16 bits per component, but you can use 8 if you need to or want to. Finally, resolution. You should have 300 in here, unless you're using an Epson printer. If you're using an Epson printer to print your image, put 360 in there. That is recommended by Epson. So 300 usually works fine, all right? And then we're gonna click Edit. So what's gonna happen now is Lightroom is going to create this file. And you can see over in the top left-hand corner, we have a progress bar, and it says Preparing File for Editing and it creates that file and it adds it to the folder that we're, the original image is in. And there it is right there. And now it's gonna open this image into On One Photo Raw 2018 and we'll get another dialog box. We could choose to use either a normal photo or a smart photo. If you think you're going to have to come back in here at a later date and re-edit your filters, you'll want to use a smart photo. If you use a normal filter or normal photo, any filters you add will get baked into the image when you're done, and you won't be able to re-edit those filters. You won't be able to remove them. Let's say I add a bunch of filters, and I decide that I need to remove the vignette filter. I could do that with a smart photo. I won't be able to do that with a normal photo. Normal photos are smaller, sometimes considerably so. The smart photos are larger, sometimes considerably so. I'm gonna pick a smart photo for this demonstration. And you'll see that then it will prepare the file and open it in on One Photo Raw 2018 effects. Now, look over to the right panel and you'll see that the only available modules are the Develop module and the Effects module. I will not be able to go to the Browse module, Layers module, or Resize module when I send the image over as a Lightroom plugin. Also, when you're in Effects, you will not be able to crop the image. You will be able to crop the image in Lightroom, of course, so you do your cropping there. So uh, if you do send the image over to resize from Lightroom, you will be able to crop the image in resize. 
Um, just a little quirk about this. I'm not sure why they won't let you crop it. So we're going to add some filters. And for this demo, I'm just going to go super quick. So bear with me. We're going to add a sunshine filter. Let's add a tone enhancer. I want to bring out that sky. So I'll bring highlights down. And I want to add a little depth. So I'm going to bring blacks down a little bit. And let's just jump right to dynamic contrast. And that's a little bit heavy. So let's pull it down to like 40-ish. And we'll add a vignette real quick. And we'll add everybody's favorite big softy. Why isn't it? There it goes. All right, big softy. So we're done. Now, it was a smart photo because so when I send it, oh, now I'm done and it's, you know, I close this down. If I need to re edit, I'll be able to do that. Now, we can, if we want, export from here and we can share it to social media or send it an e email from here if we want to. Um, so I'm going to click done because I'm done editing the image. You can cancel out. You won't edit the, no edits will be saved. But I'm going to click done. And it's now going to basically create the file with these edits included. And you'll see your progress um, dialog box in the middle. And it does take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, we're back in Lightroom and it opened the image up in Lightroom. And you can see here's the edited image there and there's our original raw file that just had the Lightroom edits. Now, let's say I decide that I need to go back into On One Effects because I, the vignette's a little too heavy and I want to adjust it. Now, it was a smart photo, so I'll be able to do that. You could open it back up into On One Effects using any of those three methods I mentioned earlier. I'm going to right click on the image, go down to Edit In, and then go over to On One Effects. Now this time, when this dialog box opens up, these aren't grayed out anymore. So I could edit a copy, I could, edit, I could do Lightroom adjustments to it, and then edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. But those, if I use either of those two choices, my filters will get lost. I won't be able to re-edit the filters. So I need to click on Edit Original if I need to go in and re-edit any of the filters I put on this image. So I'll click Edit. So what it's going to do now, it's going to take this original PSD file and it's going to open it up into On One Photo Raw 2018's Effects Module. And you'll notice when it finally opens up that in the right-hand panel, all of my um, adjustments are here. All my filters are here. You'll notice like dynamic contrast, I moved down to 40. See, it's, it's preserved these adjustments. So I could come in here and I could say that Big Softy is maybe a little bit too, too big. So I could come in and adjust that, maybe dynamic contrast. And I want to maybe kick that up to 50. So 49. Let's go with that. So we're done. When you're done, just click done over here in the lower right hand uh, corner. Again, even if you're re-editing, you can export it from here. You could share it. Um, on social media or email from here if you need to and it will take a little while to come through but when it does it'll open back up in Lightroom and it will contain these readjustments I did. And we're back in Lightroom with our readjusted smart photo. Okay that's fine. We now know how to send an image either to On One Effects 2018 or on one resize 2018, but what if you need to use layers? Or even the develop module of on one? What if you wanted to use those? There's another way you need to do it to send the image or images over to those modules. Now, for this demonstration, I have this image of Columbus, Ohio, and I have this sky, and I'd like to open them up into on one layers to replace the sky. So I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to click on one. I'm going to hold the command key in and click on the second one. If you have a PC, you would hold the control key in. And that right-click method, I demonstrated that doesn't allow you to send an image into layers. You have to do it a different way. Go up to File, then down to Plugin Extras. And you see there's all my plugins here, right? I have a lot of plugins, obviously, on this computer. And look, On One Photo 10, I still have On One Photo 10 here. On one 
Photo Raw 2017. And finally, on one Photo Raw 2018. And you'll notice I could send an image to Layers, Effects, Develop, Resize, and open as layers in on one layers. Now I'll talk about all these in a second, but let's just mention effects real quick that we just did. If you choose to send the image over to on one effects using this method, you know that little box we got popped up and it allowed us to choose either a PSD TIFF or JPEG, uh, 16 or 8 bits per component, that little box, that box won't pop up. It will automatically open your image if it's a raw file, it'll create that that copy file using your defaults. So it's it bypasses that, allowing you to make choices. It's going to do it for you, basically. And the same thing for resize. That box won't pop up. Now, this top one's kind of interesting. Migrate catalog to on one photo. And if you click on that, you'll notice this dialog box pops up with all kinds of instructions. What this allows you to do, for those of you that have been longtime Lightroom users, if you want to transfer everything over to OnePhoto Raw 2018, this allows you to do it very easily. You'll migrate all your folders, your Lightroom folders, over into On One Photo Raw, and they'll become indexed folders in On One Photo Raw. So you'll be able to do all those um, advanced search features that On One has that work for indexed folders. You could also migrate any collections you have in Lightroom. You could create cop, well, what this is, if you did Lightroom adjustments to an image, to a RAW file, and you migrate it over into On One Photo Raw 2018, On One won't transfer the adjustments. But you can create copies of the photos, which will contain your Lightroom adjustments. And that's where you would check this box. And if you do, you'll be able to choose what file format you want to use. Uh, JPEG, TIFF, uh, Photoshop. You probably want to use Photoshop or TIFF. Uh, either one would work equally well. The color space, all that we talked about earlier, you could choose here. So this is a easy method to migrate your existing Lightroom catalog over into On One Photo Raw 2018. I, if you're going to do it, I recommend you read everything here very carefully so you do it properly. You may even want to click this Learn More, which will give you some more info about the migration process. I'm going to click cancel because we're not doing that. We're going to get this sky replaced in this image. So again, I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to go down to plugin extras. And then we're going to go down to, now we have two choices, on one layers or on one air, open as layers and on one layers. If I just chose on one layers, it's going to open the files individually. And I don't want that. I want them to be layers. I want one layered on top of the other. So I'm going to pick open as layers in on one layers. And again, it's not going to edit the raw file directly. So it's going to create a new file. And uh, when you're using layers, obviously, it's going to be a, another file. It's going to be a third file that contains the other two files. And it takes just a second to do that. And once it does, you'll notice that it's just typical on one layers and it looks pretty much like um, the regular on one layers does look. You could see here, there's my sky and there, that's the top layer. The bottom layer happens to be the Columbus skyline. And you'll notice that all the modules are available. I could go to browse, develop, effects, any of them. Now, as far as this image let's just finish it off i'm going to just do it really very quickly and we covered this in an earlier video how to replace the sky so i'm not going to cover that ground again just watch that video so i'm going to click on the sky and i need to make it fit so i'm going to go where it says move up here in the top left hand corner and i'm going to click this little icon right here which will make it fill the canvas and then when i'm done i'm going to click apply and then i'm going to go over here and i'm going to move the city of columbus above the sky so it's on top and then I'm just going to quick use the quick mask tool very quickly and we'll come in here and just draw across the sky like this and let it do its let it do its thing it's going to create its mask automatically its quick mask and it's I'm not going to actually finish it all right before this demo but that gives you an idea of what it does. 
Obviously, it needs some work over in here. It's a little sloppy over in here. So it needs some work. The colors aren't quite right, so I would have to work on that. But that gives you an idea how you send in multiple images from Lightroom over into on one layers. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. When you're done, let's say I did completely finish this image, I'll click save. And when I click save, it's obviously saving the image. But you'll notice that on one doesn't close. We're just saving this file and it takes a while, so bear with it. And this is where it caused some confusion. I should add, you can export from here as well. You can share it to social media here. Okay, it's saved, but we're still here. Well, you might say, okay, well, I'm going to click close. So you click close, and we're still here. So you really got to close on one. You have to manually come in and close on one when you use this other method, not that right click edit in method, when you use this secondary method. But once you do that, you will notice that our image is opened up in Lightroom and in the folder that we were in. Now, if you're in a collection, if you sent the images from a collection, it will not add the image to that collection. You're going to have to go to the folder that your images were in. And you may get this little doohickey right here, this lines with the up arrow. If you get that, that means that there's some metadata discrepancy between the um, file that is on your hard drive and Lightroom's catalog. So click on this and you're going to want to import settings from disk. That usually is the one you want. Click on that and you can see it didn't really do anything, but it got rid of that arrow and we're good to go. So that is how you would send an image or multiple images into layers. And believe me, I get that question a lot because it's not readily apparent because people aren't aware of this um, of this choice down here, which is plugin extra, sorry, right there. So remember, and you could come in and do any of those through that method. So that's how you use on one Photo Raw 2018 as a Lightroom plugin. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.